Apple just introduced the newest version of the iPhone and they're adding some features that we have to talk about. Per usual, Apple made their standard changes to the iPhone lineup with improvements on things like battery life, system efficiency, cameras, and the display. Most people are talking about how the updates are marginal and there's really not much of a reason for people to upgrade if they're already using an iPhone 12 or 12 Pro. While that may be true for some people, the iPhone 13 Pro specifically has added some features that we as video creators can't afford to ignore. I've said this before and I'll say it again, but Apple is rarely the first to market with specific features and tools. However, when they do bring those things to market, it's because they've spent time improving and refining so they do it right the first time. Apple bringing things to market is also typically an indicator that something is going mainstream. For example, last fall they introduced Apple Fitness Plus and now more people than ever are comfortable paying for and using online fitness services. When they introduced the AirPods, in-ear headphones were not a new thing, but now they're mainstream. We see them everywhere being worn by everyone and even their grandparents. When Apple makes a move, people pay attention. So let's talk about why you need to be paying attention to the new video features introduced by Apple and what it means for your video business. For the rest of this video, I'll be specifically talking about the iPhone 13 Pro. The regular iPhone 13 and 13 mini are great phones, but they don't have all of the features that I'm gonna talk about, and I wanna focus on what matters for you, so let's talk about the iPhone 13 Pro. The first and most obvious difference is that the iPhone 13 Pro has three camera lenses as opposed to two. They're the equivalent of 77 millimeters at an f2.8 aperture, 26 millimeters at an f1.5 aperture, and 13 millimeters at f1.3. That last lens also introduces options for macro photography and videography, which previously wasn't available. Macro is simply extremely close-up photography, usually of very small objects like flowers, bugs, and more. It's not a must-have, but this is certainly a welcome feature for many creators. The telephoto lens previously offered a two times magnification without a loss in quality, which has now been increased to three times magnification on the 13 Pro. As you can tell, the cameras on the 13 Pro have taken some nice steps forward from previous iPhone models, and camera improvements are always a welcome addition when it comes to creating videos. In their keynote, Apple introduced a new video mode called Cinematic. Cinematic video mode allows you to shoot video in a way that replicates an effect called Rack Focus. Rack Focus is a filmmaking technique where you change the focus of the lens during a continuous shot. When a shot racks, it moves the focus from one object in the frame to another. This is also sometimes called focus pulling. Cinematic mode aims to allow you to easily rack focus on your iPhone, but of course, Apple takes this one step further. In cinematic mode, Apple actually builds a depth map into the video file, which allows you to change the focus point after the fact. So you can shoot a clip, stop filming, and then change the amount of blur and the focal point of the entire clip. This is absolutely wild, and I'll be super interested to see how creators leverage this tool in the days to come. Now there's one more feature available on the iPhone 13 Pro that you need to know about, and that is ProRes. ProRes is a high quality video compression format developed by Apple, and it's essentially an industry standard at this point. It's widely used as the final delivery format for commercials feature films, and broadcasts as it offers high color fidelity and less compression than other formats. And it will be available on the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max. You'll be able to capture your video clips in ProRes at 1080p, 30 frames per second if you have the 128 gigabyte phone. And if you have a larger storage model, then you can capture up to 4K 30 frames per second in ProRes. The file sizes of these ProRes clips will undoubtedly be larger and more cumbersome than standard video capture on an iPhone, but it signals big things for the video creator industry. Like I said earlier, when Apple makes a move and brings something to market, it usually signals a change. With the explosion of the creator economy in the last year and a half, Apple is clearly making moves to cater to creators who have always made up a large portion of their fan base. Bringing tools to market like cinematic mode and the introduction of ProRes on the iPhone is another step in the right direction for bringing features that matter to the devices that we use on a daily basis as creators. If these tools are coming to the iPhone, you can be sure that in another year, the same features and specs will be available in a number of other popular smartphones. More than anything, this means that there is less and less justification for spending thousands of dollars on higher end gear when these robust tools are available in your pocket. For just over a thousand dollars, you can have 
all of the tools you need in one single device. Not to mention, most people aren't shelling out that lump sum of $1,000 to $1,500 all at once. They're financing that over the duration of two years on their cell phone bill. It's much more affordable and reasonable to add $50 a month to your cell phone bill rather than spending $2,000 on a mirrorless camera, $1,000 on a lens, $400 on a microphone, $100 on a tripod, and much more all at one time. So if you're waiting to make videos because you're saving up for a new camera or a new lens, why? Starting where you are with what you have has never been more reasonable and practical. So let me pass the question off to you. What's the biggest obstacle to making videos right now for your business? Let me know in the comments below. If you're interested in improving your videos without spending any money, then you need to watch the video over there right now. And if you found this video helpful, then be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Talking about the eye for For the rest of this video, I'll